Aaron Donald now. Oh, here's a block. Blocked off the foot of Dixon, and Dixon now kicks it. Well, that's coming back. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I am Brandon. I did not know a double punt was legal in the NFL Perna. This double punt happened on Thursday night football in the game between the Rams and the Seahawks, which was already a crazy game. And while we're watching this broadcast, we're all like, is this play freaking legal? The announcers didn't think it was. The booth official did not think it was. Turns out you can do a double punt in the NFL, which is awesome because this is one of the best plays i think any football fan has seen in the nfl for a while i am glad it's legal but there are some nuances to this rule i wanted to break down to explain why you can do this in an already crazy game uh matthew stafford russell wilson both have finger injuries russell wilson's finger injury looks really bad as you can see right here looks really really bad Geno Smith comes into the game, leads a touchdown drive to get Seattle back into it, but everybody will be just talking about this double punt after this game's concluded. I mean, this play and this rule is so obscure that the booth official didn't even know what the hell was going on, and it turns out he was actually completely wrong about what he said. You actually see everything once in a while you haven't seen in a very long time, and this is one. Now, you can advance the ball once it's been blocked. You can pick it up behind the line of scrimmage, and you can advance it, but uh, no, you can't kick it again. Why can you do a double punt? Well, why don't I let Twitter explain it to us? Kevin Seifert, a second kick from Bala... God, I'm st a second kick from behind the line of scrimmage is legal provided the ball has not crossed the line. The ball didn't cross the line off the block, but it did in the hands of the punter. I'll explain what that means in a second. Basically, he posted the specific rules right here. Uh, just go down to number two here. The penalty for a punt, drop kick, or place kick from beyond the line of scrimmage is to be enforced from the spot where the ball is punted or kicked. When the player's entire body and the ball are beyond the line of scrimmage, this includes either when the player is airborne or touching the ground. A second kick from behind the line of scrimmage is legal provided the ball has not crossed the line of scrimmage. Scrimmage kick rules apply to punts, drop kicks, and place kicks anywhere on the field so he's basically saying if the punter's entire body is beyond the line of scrimmage then it's illegal if he's behind it still it is a legal punt so if we look back at this clip here you can see it's as close as it gets seahawks punter mr dixon phd is 99% beyond the line of scrimmage. It looks like he's getting the kickoff with maybe his foot still being behind it. But if this airborne rule applies, maybe his whole body is actually airborne past the line of scrimmage when he kicks it. The line of scrimmage here is the 20-yard line, by the way. Uh, you need to know that. So it's very close. I think it's what you would call a judgment call. And in this situation the correct judgment is to let the punt stand because it is awesome it is so awesome uh yeah so that's that's the rule a double punt can happen in the nfl as long as the punter is not beyond the line of scrimmage this one was close i mean this punt stood and it changed field position drastically for the rams they would have been basically in the red zone had there been a penalty here now there's another thought that maybe there's an illegal man downfield that the uh, seahawks should have been flagged for uh, negating the punt as well don't give a shit double punt is cooler than all of those other plays and you let it stand you let the cooler play stand. Them's the real rules, NFL. And honestly, I think NFL punters should be allowed to tackle opposing returners, opposing players, as long as they double punt them. 
you should be allowed to double punt a human in the NFL. So do you think Mr. Dixon MD was beyond the line of scrimmage? Do you think there should have been a flag there or 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 are you with me in believing that it was close and you let the play stand because it was awesome? If you like this punting video, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I do all sorts of football videos here all the time with so many football videos. Like, I want you to subscribe and then be like, oh yeah, this guy makes way too many football videos and then unsubscribe. That's my dream.